is your first alert five weather with Sam Schreier. Good morning, everyone. It is still cold. I hope I didn't give the impression today would be a warm day. The only thing that was going to be really nice about it, it was warmer than the last couple days, but also the blue sky makes it look amazing out there. Pikes Peak in particular shining with a new fresh coat of paint, white snow onto the foothills, 25 with sun definitely feels better than 25 with heavy cloud cover. Where we're really getting some good push is 34 degrees into Pueblo, the Steel City melting the snow other than a couple little pockets next to the trees and sidewalks kind of back to normal down south. Heavy mountain snow is on the move. It comes out of the west and northwest, pushes through Utah. It's actually kind of on the move right now. It is aiming for the west southwest mountains, and we could be seeing some big totals basically from later today through Friday. In fact, look at some of the snow forecasts down south by Grand Junction, forecasting one to three feet from the mountains south of Telluride over towards Wolf Creek, Pagosa Springs, and in and around Durango West. We're talking anywhere between like four to 12 inches. So some good moisture for a mountain range that really needs as much as it can get. Now for Southern Colorado, we stay dry today. We could get a couple sprinkles or light snows over the San de Cristos towards three o'clock, but the bigger story will be our continued warm up into the 30s or at least the upper 20s for most of the interstate. And then by the time we get back to five and six, we start to draw below freezing. So the problem today was anything that got wet or melted will start to want to become ice again tonight because it does get so cold. In fact, by 10 o'clock, a lot of widespread teens and low 20s. Now, let's look a little further out to the future. The next snow system comes in two parts this time. It had looked like it was going to be one snow Friday night, Saturday. Now it looks like there's some snow that comes Thursday evening through Friday morning, mostly into the mountains, Fremont County, but also out towards Friday morning in El Paso County. Now it moves back pretty quick, so we're actually dry for a lot of Friday from the mid morning out towards lunch. But the second push of the snow comes back into the afternoon, more so to the end of your day. So the evening commute home from work Friday could be affected, but the snow really then pushes off to the plains through Friday night, Saturday morning, and actually Colorado Springs Pueblo, there is a chance that we're going to get dry slotted by the system. It may be a situation where the plains see several inches of snow and we barely get about an inch or so. So it's going to be a fun one to watch how this evolves the next couple days. Temperatures over the next few afternoons keep trying to warm up. I've got Friday hanging out at about 37. A quick little morning shower right at or the start of the morning commute, but really the more snow is coming the end of the day Friday through the overnight hours to Saturday morning. We get out towards the weekend. Honestly, we're starting to look pretty good. Now, we get in towards Pueblo. I think that Pueblo, you're probably more dry in the morning. Your better chance of snow comes to the end of the day when you're trying to get home from work through Saturday morning. Although the plains, honestly, through Saturday morning, will probably get some of the most snow out to the Kansas border. We get over towards Canyon City. Here's what I'm tracking with you. 30s and 40s for your extended. I think some morning snow Friday possible, but the second push comes at the end of the day, Friday through Saturday morning. Finally, we finish off with Woodland Park. So we're actually probably going to see probably snow Thursday night through Friday morning, and then a second push of that snow at the end of the day, Friday through early Saturday.